the Zanea is heading to one of the most biologically diverse places on the planet to solve a mystery that could make the difference between life and death for local bull sharks. The bull shark is the only shark species that can live both salt water and fresh water ecosystems. Our theory is that the females go into Sirena River to give birth to their pups and the juveniles stay there the first years of their lives and then when they reach the sexual maturity they go outside of Corcovado National Park and probably go to Santa Rosa National Park. The problem is that the Corcovado National Park has a very little marine protected area. It's only 500 meters from the coastline. So when the juveniles make local migration for food, probably they are unprotected. With thousands of fishermen in these waters, there's a very real threat to the shark pups that cross the dotted line. Elena is determined to protect them, but first she needs to figure out exactly where they're going. Today we are here in Sirena River to tag the juveniles of bull shark. So, we fish the juveniles with the hand line. Once we catch the shark, we take some biological data, then we place on the first dorsal fin a conventional tech with a number, then we make a little surgery in the belly of the shark to place an acoustic transmitter on acoustic tech. This acoustic tech will give us information about the code of the shark, the date and hour that the shark stay in an identified site. After tagging three juveniles, Elena and her team are forced to call it a day. They pique the interest of a dangerous predator looking for easy prey. They can't risk putting the pups in the water right into the jaws of a waiting crocodile. So they release them further downstream. A few days later, they're further up the coast at Santa Rosa National Park, where a receiver is ready to be picked up. They're tracking the movements of adult bull sharks in an area the locals call the Big Scare. We are here at the Big Scare uh, to dive with the bull sharks and to get the receiver and download the information. With the use of the spear gun, we deploy the acoustic transmitter or the acoustic tech in the base of the first dorsal fin. We have deployed an acoustic receiver in the dive site of the big scare. The receiver gives us the, the information from this aggregation site that is very important, especially for the females. Elena believes this is where the bull sharks reproduce. Expectant shark mamas then make their way to the river to give birth. Our major concern is that this aggregation site is located right in the boundary of the marine protected area. Probably this area is not enough for the bull sharks and they go out of the marine protected area. Our dream about uh, this uh, project is to get the information needed to expand the marine protected area. This is just the beginning of a long journey. She's got some clues to sift through after retrieving the receiver. Like any good detective, she'll have to gather a lot more before she can start connecting the dots. The clock is ticking and Elena has no plans of slowing down. I fell in love about shark when I saw for the first time this uh, beautiful and uh, majestic animal. So it was very impressive for me and uh, it changed my life. <laughs> 